at setting up for uh, cervical traction. So because the traction device doesn't move, we're actually going to uh, change the patient position. So the patient's head will go up closer to the, to the traction device. Uh, this is a unit that connects and anchors directly to the, the DTS head itself. So this device does not move. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the patient's head to the slider and we're going to pull on the, on the slider. A couple things to take into consideration. One is that these pivots, so um, they will move with the, with the size of the patient as well as our ability to uh, clasp down. We're trying just to grab the base of the occiput behind the mastoid process. When you touch the material, you'll also feel that it is a non-skid material. So again, we're not concerned with squeezing the head so tight that, uh, that we're cutting off any circulation or creating any discomfort. As long as the patient is uh, free of, of perspiration, then it'll decrease any opportunity for it to, to slide through there. Um, the way that they're shaped also cradles the, the base of the occiput, so it minimizes any, any excess movement. We also have a forehead strap here that's going to go across the uh, the cranium and again that's just to make sure that we keep people in a, in a down position uh, so it doesn't have to be excessively tight so we don't have to worry about uh, putting it on so tight that it, it pulls their neck into, into extension. Uh, we just want to make sure that they, they can't move from that position. Uh, so we get people into the, into the position of the device. We have them sit again where the, the pelvic pieces will be and we lower them down. So we want to get this at the base of the occiput. Um, patients that have long hair, make sure they put it up into uh, a ponytail or something where it's, it's tied back. We don't want excess hair coming out to the side. These spin dials here, we want to make sure that we can't catch hair inside of those, inside of those spin dials. And so we'll just have the patient come over and, and sit on the device facing us here and we'll have them rotate around and again if you need to assist the patient. So again patients with long hair make sure that their hair is back and away from the the turn dials. We explain to patients that we're just looking for enough tension to grab the base of the occiput with these non-skid devices and we're not trying to over squeeze their heads and as we turn the device it will it will equally clamp from both sides. How's that? Good. Again, patient comfort is important, so we're always asking patients how they feel when they are strapped into, into the device. The clinical protocol determinations are very similar to that of lumbar traction. So <clears throat> we keystroke in, we can save protocols, we can retrieve protocols in the same manner that we did that with the lumbar traction. The difference when we attach the device for traction in the cervical spine is, again, we're actually going to attach it to the device itself. And so the whole apparatus is actually going to slide on this, on this sled piece here. Now, when we're looking at the angle, as you can see here, they're actually at a neutral angle. The way that we can change the angle is by changing this, this pad here. We measure the angle based on not the guide here, but relative to the torso. Similar in the clinic setting when we want to measure a cervical angle, we use a goniometer and we'll measure relative to the torso. So what we can do is by increasing the angle, I will just simply drop the table down. And what that does is that puts her into a more flexed position and reducing the lordosis. And again, if that was a protocol determination where we wanted to increase that flexion moment, that increases the depth of the angle where we're going to address most of the tension. So at that particular angle, we'd be at about C6, C7. And if we wanted to go back up to neutral, we simply raise the table back up to neutral, and that would address the higher segments of the, of the cervical spine.